It is not a bald cap. It is my real hair that I shaved into an arrow. And I'm sick. And I want a story to tell you guys. Something that happened in my life. Okay, so you guys know me. Uh, I'm taking- I'm like, kinda busy with my life, you know? And I just posted a video on YouTube. Which was a cover with Hazel. So, what's the story? Me getting stuck in the bus wasn't the worst thing in the world. Or probably not getting stuck twice. Or probably not getting stuck three times. We've been struck for the no, third time. No, but I'm just saying down, what you do, right? And oh, transport the transport is nearly as far away. And it's or probably even getting stuck for the fourth time. But I do not have a clip for that because my phone was dead at the moment. <laughs> Being said, um, we were just chilling in the bus while uh, we were waiting for the bus to be repaired. We stopped again, and then smoke was coming out of the back, and the the driver went to go check it out, and then it turns out there was a damaged gasket, and then, like water was going through the gas. That's what I heard. The driver fixed it again, and we were on the roll. Moving forward, we got there a little bit. Yeah, that was the good thing. And it stopped again. The driver had to turn off the bus because it was overheating. We waited in the bus for three, yes, hours of... It just felt like a real eternity. We were given sandwiches, which were pretty good and helped my appetite. I was okay, and then we were... We were chilling in the bus. Fun as always. Being in high school. No, it's not. I mean, I'm a ninth grader. What do you expect? I am not that type of person who chills like that. We fell like lions, and boy, was it so cute. Why do I sound like a? We were just like going back to sleep. Everything was just fun, and then we woke back up. The good thing was, the bus was finally fixed. We actually got to take a pee break before that. We went up to the mountains, and then it was so public that people kept walking by and seeing his pee. Oh boy, was it the most <laughs> weirdest, one of the most weirdest things ever. There was no bathrooms anywhere. We were just like, in the middle of a freaking road. And then there was a, a truck stop. So, like, we went up this one road so we could go, um, uh, so the bus was fixed and we were rolling and rolling and rolling again. And guess what? We finally made it! Which was the good thing! Yeah! And we were late! For four hours! Four hours, four, four. One, two, three, quatre. We played football at the beach. However, it was raining, so yeah, some of us got sick, and luckily I didn't. But however, I am sick now, and it, it um it was real it was rainy it was rainy, but then good thing my immune system would take it. Like I said, I'm sick now, and I hate it. I hate being sick. I want to go to school, and I'm not. Like those kids that don't want to go to school. I'm sorry. We get to see who won, who won all, who won this, who won that. You know, win or lose, it doesn't matter. We gave it our best shot. We always do. And that's us. And I love my band. Vallejo, if you're watching this video, I am so sorry. So, we were all done. Everybody was packing up, checking bags, and then putting all the food and stuff in the U-Haul truck. And then we went back home. And guess what? We got stuck again! Yeah! That was actually the final straw. The bus was like, just totally broken. Head gasket was blown. And the pipes were messed up. I was the only freshman left on the bus that was like, being emptied out. <laughs> and everybody was laughing. Because they told me afterwards that they were laughing. Everybody got home safely. We got back to Bethel. I saw Vallejo drop off. Actually, no, I didn't. Or did I? No, I didn't. Probably. Um, that was the story I wanted to tell you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later in the next video.